First time. First time. First time. So please give her a warm or a welcome to Miss Michelle Deliz, everybody. Is that not it? Well, you better hurry up. The applause is right now. Come on, give it off for us. You're Rhonda? I'm Rhonda. You guys wrote your names down wrong, or I'm just bad at my job. <laughs> you want to go on now? This is the most unprofessional thing I've ever done in my whole life. Uh, yeah. Have fun. Spotlight now, baby. Michelle, come up. No, my name is Rhonda, and this is my first time doing stand up. I typically do better horizontal. <laughs> and <laughs> um, Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> She's over here. <laughs> no, but I am. I went to my husband a couple months ago, and I said, "Babe, I'd like to try like stand up." And he said, "But you're a nurse." And I'm like, "Okay, Captain Obvious, <laughs> but I would like to do it, you know." And so. I'm sorry, I can't do it. You can. No. You can Hi everybody. How's it going tonight? Welcome to Side Splitters. This is also my first time here at Side Splitters. And I truly do not know this young beautiful lady. That beautiful lady is my wife and my sister. My name is Lauren Strayhorn. Strayhorn is my last name and it's also a pretty accurate description of my penis. <laughs> Lauren is, is my first name, but it's uh, also proof that my parents smoked a lot of dope back in the 70s. You fucking are good. Oh, at fucking? Fucking good. Wait till later. I will. Go on, go on. Go on. Go, go on. Well, I was talking about names. And I really, I've always been jealous of those guys that got those really cool names. Okay. Like I got a buddy. His name is Armando Rodrigo Esteban Luviano. I know, ain't that a cool name? He's a cool name. He's a really cool dude, too. In fact, he's, he's also the first Mexican I ever seen ride a snowmobile. That's funny in itself, right? All right, well, we're riding along, right? And, and all of a sudden, smoke just comes boiling out underneath the hood of his snowmobile. So we pulled over, and he reached down, and he opened up the hood, and smoke is boiling out, boiling out. And I looked down, and I said, Mando, it looks like you've blown a seal. He looked at me, and he said, oh, no, he's just frost on my mustache. <laughs> he, he, he's a great guy. He's, in fact, the other day, we were hanging out at the house, and we were smoking a doobie and watching some TV. And he looked over, and there's my dog, Chunks, and he's doing what he always does. He's licking his nuts. <laughs> Mondo, he looks over at me, and he's like, damn, dude, I wish I could do that. And I was like, dude, you better pet him first. <laughs> Give him some fucking snossages or something, damn. I mean, he's a good dog, but shit. <laughs> Are you ready now, Rhonda? Are, are you ready now? No! no. 
I just warmed them up for you. No, you know. No, no. no. Well, then you have to stay up here until I finish. You finish. I'm hugging you. Are you hugging me? I'm loving you. Well, she lo she loves me almost as much as my wife does. And your sister. And my sister. And I know that my wife loves me because she's always bugging me that I need to go to the doctor and get checked out. Apparently, she wants me to be around for a while. <laughs> And I told her, I was like, you know, every time I go to the doctor, all they do is freaking poke at me and stick their finger up my ass and make me wait in the freaking waiting room. And I said, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not going to the doctor. And she said, hon, you got to go to the doctor. And I said, listen, this time I'm putting my foot down. I'm not going to the doctor. So I'm at the doctor's. <laughs> And the doctor comes out, and I was like, hey, Doc, can you do me a huge favor? Could we just, could we just skip the part where you stick your finger up my ass? Who? <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> the, the, the doctor says, <coughs> the doctor says, we don't do that anymore. I said, oh, really? And he said, no. Well, he said, all you got to do is pee in this cup. I'll put it in the computer. It'll analyze it. It'll tell me if there's anything wrong. And I was like, well, shh, that sounds better than a finger up my ass. So I was like, all right. So I peed in the cup, and I gave it to him, and he put it in the computer and came back. And he said, well, the computer tells me that you're overall pretty decent health, but it looks like you have tennis elbow. <laughs> Three fingers? Damn. Now I'm really getting scared. Especially with this tennis elbow. And I told the doctor, I said, that's not possible, Doc. I said, I've never played tennis in my life. And he said, well, I'll tell you what. He said, you come back next week. We'll run the test again. We'll compare the results, and we'll go from there. So I said, all right, that sounds, that sounds logical. So I went home, and, and it was time for me to go back for my next test. So I decided to, to get ready, so I peed in the cup, and I was like, you know what? I'm a pretty funny guy. I'm going to fuck up this doctor. So not only did I pee in the cup, but I got my wife to pee in the cup. I got my sister to pee in the cup. So I'm thinking, all right, this, this should fuck with them. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to add one more thing. Oh, shit. I did it. I, I whacked off into the cup. Come on, everybody does it. This guy knows. So I, I whack off in the cup. So now I'm getting ready to get into my car and go to the doctor. So I go to step in the car and I was like, you know what? One more thing. So I reached down on the floor and I got me a little bit of that grime off the floor and I put it in there and I stirred it up and I said, there you go, doc. So I go to the doctor's office and I hand him the cup. I handed him the cup. Two. For now. So I hand him the cup and uh, he puts it in the computer and the computer does its thing and he pulls the cup back out and I was like, hey uh, doc, what's the computer say this time? He says, well, it says that your wife is pregnant, your sister's got a yeast infection, your Volvo needs an oil change and if you don't stop jacking off you'll never get rid of that fucking tennis elbow. Thank you very much everybody, that's my time. And her time too.